So strangely enough, the one thing I've wanted to do ever since I got to Seoul is to interact with a cat. And you know I'm not lying because one of the first things I did out of a seven day quarantine was go to Daiso, which is like the dollar store over here, and get these cat snacks just in case I have an encounter with one in public. Okay, this is like a super random buy, but I know there's lots of stray cats over here in Korea, especially near the university, so I might have to grab these just in case, you know, I need to learn one this way. And since then, I've had three interactions with cats and they've all came to the same result. Every single time the cat saw me, it froze and ran as fast as it could. I don't know if it's because I'm tall, I don't know if it's because I'm scary looking, or maybe the cats over here are just more pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but that goes to say, I know a guaranteed way I can see a bunch of cats over here and have good interactions with them. And that's at a cat cafe. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys a typical day over here in Seoul, which includes my visit to a cat cafe. And overall, this video is gonna be a bunch of positive vibes. So make sure to watch until the end to see what I get into today. And let's go. This is the area where I quarantined at, it's called Myeongdong and this is the exact area where I found the cat cafe and it's the reason why I came back here. Kind of to my old stomping grounds, the first place I really got familiar with over here in Korea but also because it's a cat cafe, I went to twice before and I didn't get in both times and the lady came out and said they were closed so no cats today, no cats yesterday, I was so close both times. So third time's a charm, I'm very close to getting over there but sometimes you gotta go back to the place where it all started to really see how far you're going and see how far you've gone. So I'm finally over here. Man, this is amazing. So it was 11,000 won and it comes with one free drink. It's vibes. Um, there's so many cats here and they all look so cute. <laughs> but I guess the reason why I wanted to come here is because for some reason, I just really like animals. I think everybody likes animals, honestly, but animals can really sense energy, and I think that's one of the big parts of it. And it's honestly just cool to see what their reactions are to different situations, because every animal has a different personality, every animal has a different attitude, and it's just pretty interesting to see. This one right here is probably the coolest like design wise. He has the coolest patterns. This guy has like almost cheetah print on him. All right, so I'm giving them treats right now, but they're really scratching me because they're so aggressive. Everybody wants a treat. Hey, ah, ah. <laughs> ah. Their nails. So now I'm the fan favorite among the cats, but they're being so aggressive, they keep scratching me to try to get the food. See, like this, oh my gosh. This cat's mad aggressive. <laughs> ah, damn! <laughs> like some of them are chill, but then some of them are doing way too much right now.
No, this cat with the little sweater might be my favorite one. It's so skinny and the yellow sweater just looks so iconic. Oh my god, has the haircut too. Yo, these cats are so curious about everything. They're gathering around everything that I put on the ground, everything that's moving. <laughs> This gray guy right here with the green eyes is definitely the most handsome one. This guy just has that look on his face, like that smirk emoji. And this was one of the super aggressive ones, so this guy is just, he's just outside, he's with it. crazy my guy's practically asleep right now so, that's how you know i'm going off <laughs> all right so i just left the cat cafe honestly that was an amazing experience it really was i've been wanting to go ever since i got to seoul and i finally did third time's a charm and basically i'm in like a shopping district right now there's a lot of street food out here I'm about to go get some takoyaki right now <laughs> That's the cheese right there, the melted cheese right on top. Sonida. Sitting right outside the Nike store, eating takoyaki in Seoul. Man, what a feeling. 